So welcome to today's video. Um, I thought I would like to do a, a comparison video about uh, the Schminke Academy uh, colors and that is their student grade range and uh, this tin here was my very first watercolor set I ever got and I was around 10 so it's around 28 years old and I still have um, all the colors except except one um, because I used that one up completely and I had to replace it and all the new colors I bought were um, Schminke Horadam so the artist grade range but um, from the uh, from the original uh, 12 pen set are uh, 11 colors still there and I bought uh, some new um, Schminke Academy sets because I wanted the beautiful tints they they have for uh, they, their uh, sets and uh, that's why I have the, the uh, also a new version of the colors and I thought um, hmm, I would like to do a comparison between them are the old or the new ones the better ones so you can see that um, the lemon yellow on the left side um, is now um, a white pen on the upper row you see, can see the old and the new pens and also that uh, they have uh, the old um, tin here have very sharp edges um, I've got a little bit of rust uh, over the years but um, I'm always very careful with uh, my water so I think it's still for nearly 30 years a uh, very good condition it has a few dents that's al also the reason why it doesn't close uh, very good but that was because I dropped it once uh, on the floor <laughs> and uh, not uh, the fault of the company or so. That was completely my own fault. Um, you can see I also have a little bit of rust on, on uh, the bottom here. And I'll try to get the other one out as well so that you can see that the reason why the old ones all f fall out is um, that they did shrink over the time. You can see I only took the, the, the color from the middle and you can see that it's a little bit um, shorter and a little bit smaller than the, the newer block. And all the old colors did shrink a little bit but uh, the one that did shrink the most was uh, the black. I try to get that one out so that I can show you. And there you can see very easily the dents on the on the side is from shrinking. You see the hole in the middle that's where I took the the color from and you can see that it really did shrink a lot. I think um, it's probably over the time that they lose um, the rest of the moisture and that's the reason why um, the, the old ones did shrink that, that much. So of course I can swatch um, the light yellow lemon, only uh, the new version. Like I said, I had to replace it and all the replacements I bought are Schminke or Adam colors. I honestly, I thought uh, they also were uh, Schminke Academy and only when I um, started to dig deeper in the pigment uh, <laughs> um, direction, then I thought hmm, I should look uh, look that one up and then I uh, realized all, all the newer colors I um, which are uh, uh, which were not uh, included in the 12 pen original set were um, um, Horadam colors and that's the reason why I took all the Horadam colors out and put it in the new uh, in the new set and took all the new colors uh, the new Schminke Academy colors um, into this old set as well with, with the exception of the white um, because the Horadam set was full so I thought I included here but the white is also um, from Horadam so it's a PY3 it's um, it got um, three of five stars in light fastness. Uh, Schminke does a five star uh, rating with five stars as the best 
light fastness and um, one star is um, the the worst you can get so it's it's in the middle it's okay-ish i would say and that's something with uh, py3 um, i've heard that um, it really depends from which supplier they get um, their um, their pigment from because there are sources with uh, py3 which are highly light fast and some are not um, it's really uh, with this pigment, um, it can can vary from from very good to to bad. So, yeah. Okay, the next one is Indian yellow, and um, of course I can swatch uh, from here up um, all the colors, the old ones versus the new ones. This is a mixture of uh, two pigments. It's PY one hundred and ten and PY one hundred and fifty four got four of five stars so it's very um, it has a very uh, a good light fastness so can work very well with them I personally say um, if you have a good or a very good um, or excellent some some call it very good some call it excellent depending on the company uh, light fastness um, you can um, work with uh, those for um, every kind of art but if you have art really you want to hang up on your wall or um, gift to someone or uh, sell the art you should at least have a good um, everything uh, below i wouldn't use because uh, that are colors that will fade even um, if it's maybe not that bad uh, with a three of uh, five stars but you will have some fading and for that reason i would uh, would not uh, use it outside of sketchbooks or art where I, I knew i will draw it and then i will put it in an order somewhere in a in a closet or so so i personally must say i can't feel any difference um, in the color behavior while painting from this um, Indian yellow in both um, both versions, and also I can't see any different uh, difference in in the color in the in the shade. So it looks pretty similar to me. The next one is uh, cadmium red hue. Hue, of course, um, says um, that it looks like a cadmium red but it is not with the original cadmium pigment that's always when they include a hue it's not the original one because cadmium pigments are very expensive like cobalts as well and for that reason in all the student grade ranges, you never will get uh, the original pigments they will always contain another pigment which looks very similar and in this case they used um, the the pigment which I see re uh, replaces uh, the cadmium red the most it's PR255 and it's a pyrrole red and that's the most used um, replacement I know it looks very very similar to an um, cadmium red and of course, because um, my old colors are that old and I was only around 10 years old, um, I don't have the informations from the original ones with uh, light fastness and uh, pigments. I can only uh, say what the new versions had on their information. So um, we will have to look up if the colors look similar or not. I can't be completely sure that they used every um, on every uh, color the, the same pigments um, 30 years ago. So yeah, wanted to just um, make this clear. And I can see here a slight difference in the in the shade. The old one seems to me more like a cadmium red light and the new one more like a medium version so it's a little bit um, 
darker in, in, in color. Also, um, pyro red doesn't granulate. I can see that in the new version. But um, funny thing is that the old version has a very, very slight uh, granulation. It just looks like it does have a little bit. Maybe it looks, uh, it, it is um, f the fault of the um, the very bad paper, but um, when um, while it was wet, it does it uh, did look like it would be contain a little bit of um, maybe the real cadmium red because that one also does granulate very very slightly. So in the next color, um, when you look at the pants, you can already see that they don't look similar in the old and the new version. The old one is a super dark um, pan. It looks nearly black, while uh, the new, new, newer one in the um, lower row looks completely different. You can see that it is a pinkish red um, color while the old one looks like a black, a reddish black. It's totally, totally different. So I was really um, curious about how the two colors uh, do look in comparison. The new one is um, written down with carmine and it's made from PV19. Um, they give four from five stars. Um, that's also one thing I'm not quite sure because the cadmium red um, hue, the carmine, the ultramarine, uh, and the, the the phalo green, they all have five or f uh, four or five stars, and normally um, that that are colors with uh, the best light fastness. So I always know them with uh, five or f five stars. Um, I'm not quite sure why they only have four or five stars here. Um, yeah, so that's that's basically a quinacridone uh, rose, also often used as a primary red. So it's very, um, you find that color very often in, 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 in any set. doesn't matter if it's a uh, student or an artist grade set. And you can see Definitely, that the color looks completely different. Um, the uh, the newer one is more like the Quin Rose, you know, like a primary um, pinkish red. And um, while the the old version in the upper row looks very very dark, and when I would find um, a color I knew which um, is most similar to the old version, it would be a real alizarin crimson. And that is something I thought maybe it is a real alizarin crimson because it looks absolutely identical to the um, to the Daniel Smith alizarin crimson I have. Um, and maybe that's the reason why they um, changed it over time because maybe the People wanted more, um, were more interested in light fast pigments, pigments because uh, the real alizarin crimson, it's a PR83. Uh, um, it's made from uh, a root and it is as beautiful as it is. I really love the color a lot and I use it a lot in my sketchbook works, but um, it is absolutely not light fast at all. It will fade completely. Even um, if it's in this very, very dark red shades, it will lose its color completely. The, the best you can get after a few months uh, exposed to light is a, is a very um, delicate rose shade. So yeah, that could be the reason they, they, um, they choose to, to change, change that pigment if it's a real alizarin crimson. I'm, like I said, I can only only um, tell you what I think it could be because I don't have the the informations anymore of the old ones. So of course the one I was swatching just now it's ultramarine uh, made from PB29 so it's the genuine ultramarine 
or better, better said, the, the, the one we use today as a genuine ultra, ultramarine. It's a synthetic um, version of lapis lazuli, which is the original pigment for um, ultramarine. But of course, you can still get colors made from um, the, the original lapis lazuli, but um, it's uh, really, really, really expensive. So that's why we always get the, the synthetic version in um, industrial uh, produced watercolors. Um, yeah, it has four of five stars, like I said. Um, I don't know why they only gave the four stars. Mine, it's, I mean, it's still a good light fastness, but um, normally it has an, an, a very good or an excellent I'm not quite sure why they wrote on a few uh, four, just four stars. Maybe it has uh, something to do with um, fillers um, that are used in uh, all student grade colors. I'm, I, I don't know. If you know something, please let me know in the comments below. I would really want to know why. <laughs> but I must say, I, I, I I think the new version is a little bit uh, darker here than the, the older version, or maybe I just uh, got a little bit more um, color on my brush. That, of course, you can't get the exact amount of color every time you use your brush. So, slight variations in light, light or dark uh, to lighter or darker versions, I would think, is mostly because of um, that I maybe not have the exact amount of color used. But also what I, I see is that the newer version granulates more than the old version. I mean, I know uh, on the um, artist grade range, uh, Horadam, they have uh, an ultramarine um, and an ultramarine finest and a French ultramarine. And the ultramarine finest, would I would say, is like the, the old version. It is has a very very um, little uh, has very little granulation because it's uh, much finer milled, and um, the normal versions or the the French uh, ultra French ultramarine versions have a lot more granulation, and the the lower one definitely has a little bit of more granulation. But for showing granulation the paper is definitely not the best because it's a very sm smooth uh, paper so i would guess on a cold pressed or on a rough uh, paper you would definitely see um, the granulation effect uh, better than on this paper so this color i swatched just now is prussian blue it's made of pb27 and it's a color probably most of us knew because it's a very standard color. You find it um, through all brands. And uh, like in all brands, it got a much better light fastness rating uh, printed on, on the pens than it actually has. Um, Schmicke says it's four of five stars and that's a mistake I found um, really on every single brand. It doesn't matter if it's student grade or if it's others grade, it doesn't matter the brand. All say uh, Prussian blue has a good to very good or excellent light fastness and that is definitely not the case. That is something um, you must be aware of. This is a pigment that will fade nearly completely in uh, uh, when it's exposed to daylight or light in general, because of um, the high concentration of iron, which is in the color. And the specialty of this um, pigment is that it can recover a bit when you put it in a closet in the dark for a while, but you will not get the same um, darkness it once has had before um, fading. So I can only recommend that doesn't matter the brand, a Prussian blue will only be used in um, works like sketchbook works or on paper, which I will put in an order or in a closet and nothing which you want to hang up on a wall to gift to someone else or um, sell to someone else. That's definitely a color to avoid. 
when uh, you are making art for that reason. That said, I nothing the less, I really like the color and I like to use it a lot in my sketchbook work. But um, yeah, very sadly, it's not light fast. So the next color is called Brilliant Green and it's made of PG7, so it's a phalo green. And we have here the same uh, miraculous uh, light fastness rating from five, four or five stars, which normally a um, uh, phalo green has a perfect light fastness. Um, it's a very punchy green and I know that a lot of people say are saying that uh, they don't like the color because it looks uh, too artificial and um, they don't use it because of that reason and I must say I can recommend this color as a mixing color very much because you can very easily mix beautiful natural looking greens when you are mixing um, a phalo green with um, colors like burnt sienna or burnt amber. You get really, really beautiful olive greens or like uh, my personal favorite a version of sap green um, from Daniel Smith. Um, it's also made of a phalo green mixed with uh, an yellow and an orange or you can mix it just with an orange as well um, and you will get absolutely beautiful natural looking greens in a very bright variation. Um, I think because it's a single pigment color it's and um, we don't have that much single pigment greens it's a perfect way to easy mix beautiful and natural looking greens. So I can only recommend the color for that reason a lot and we will see that in the next uh, color because the next one is also in green and it uses phalo green as well in, in, in that color. So you can see what I mean with natural looking greens with the next color. And here like in the Prussian blue or um, in the ultramarine and the other colors before from the behavior of the color I can't, can't feel any difference. Um, and here as well as in the Prussian, Prussian blue, I can't see any difference in, in the color as well. So it feels the same, it looks the same. But, um, so far I would say the, the most uh, difference was in the carmine, but like I said, I think it's a complete different pigment. So I just think there replaced it completely with another pigment. So that, of course, will um, also be seen in the in the color because it's not the same. So the next group, uh, uh, pick, uh, damn it. The next uh, color is called permanent green. And like I said, it uses a PG7, a phalo green in it. And it is mixed with uh, PO 62 uh, so it's an orange color and like I said oranges or um, different kind of earth colors like burnt sienna or um, burnt amber so browns and um, red browns are perfectly um, a perfect choice to um, mix with the phalo green and you see you get the uh, get a very very beautiful natural looking dark green it's also um, has the four um, or five stars so it has a good light fastness rating and this is a color like the carmine where I really felt a difference between the two versions. But not as strongly that I say said they use different pigments here like um, with the carmine but I see a change of uh, quality 
in the color because the old version is much more transparent and gets a lot darker than the new version. You can already see it that the new version is not as dark. When you look at the, the upper row on the darkest part, it nearly looks blackish because it's so dark and the, the new version doesn't um, get that dark. Even um, when I tried to um, load more um, color and, pig uh, and pigment on my brush to um, put down more color on the, on the paper, it didn't change. So I did, like you see now, I did <laughs> add more color for a third time and it still isn't near as dark as uh, the old version. And also it does feel a little bit um, um, uh, less transparent. So the newer version probably contains maybe more filler. Um, when I was thinking about why uh, the two versions are that different, um, maybe it's because in 30 years all the prices um, have gone up very, very strongly. So maybe they have to dilute it more now and were maybe more generous with the pigment in the past because it didn't make um, that much imp impact on the financial part. I don't know, it's just uh, an idea I had why um, it changed because like I said, it definitely here I can see a big difference um, in in the in the quality of the paint and also that would explain why when i thought about the difference between um, schminke academy and schminke horadam i always thought um, they are not that much different because maybe my old academy colors are a lot better than the academy colors maybe now or yeah, that you have um, colors like the permanent green where you really can see a different because the, the old version is really, really transparent and the newer version has this slightly, I would say it's um, semi-transparent, so a slight touch of, uh, of opaqueness in it. But that's only my ideas, so they could be wrong. I'm, I can't be sure about that. Um, the next one is Light Ochre and it's made from PY42. It got five of five stars, so best light fastness um, you can get. It's a synthetic um, yellow iron oxide. And from the big family of earth colors, I would say iron oxides are uh, the most, uh, you, uh, the biggest family you can find. You will find yellow, red, brown and black iron oxides. All, uh, among all the brands, that's a pretty standard um, uh, pigments. They all have a thin, thin, this, blah, damn it, synthetic version and a natural version. And um, especially the natural versions can really um, have completely different colors when um, they are from different areas of the world. So where the pigment comes from really makes a big, big impact on the color. So, but here with uh, this version of light ochre, I can only say they look and feel completely the same. I can't see any difference between the old and the new version. The next one we have here is English red and it's also one uh, pigment from the iron oxide family. It's a red iron oxide and we have it here as a PR 101. So it's also the uh, synthetic version and it also has five of five stars. So best light fastness you can get. It's a um, opaque version of the, of the um, I uh, red iron oxide because um, that is the the PR101, the synthetic, and the PR102, the natural version of the red iron oxide, is, so far I know, the pigment with uh, the most vi variations you can find. It can make this brick reddish um, 
opaque red like we have it here but it also can make um, a transparent red like many brands uses as um, their um, burnt sienna for example it can make um, uh, uh, also very dark reds or even dark violet uh, dark um, red purplish versions of red so that's really yeah there are that we will find it in a lot different um, colors and um, I must say I didn't like the color a lot for a very long time and I still don't use it uh, as a um, uh, on its own but I absolutely love to mix uh, the English red or an Indian red uh, so the, the darker red versions with an ultramarine to create a very very beautiful purples um, that's really a, a thing I can recommend very highly so the last one is uh, sepia and it's a mix of three different pig uh, 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 pigments. Of course, it is not the original sepia. And the reason why they don't include the word hue is that all the major brands, all the industrial produced um, watercolor doesn't use um, the original sepia pigment because it's not light fast. Uh, so they replaced it all with an with a um, mixture of different pigments and like um, other colors, um, like for example, um, paints gray or um, 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 neutral tint is sepia, a mix mixture every brand makes their own version. So you can buy five different um, um, brands and you will get five different uh, shades of a dark brown or also, when you look at the pigments, a uh, completely different um, combination of uh, pigments. <clears throat> the Schminke Academy uses uh, PB15 column 1, so a phthalo uh, blue. Uh, PBR7, it's uh, our natural, um, natural uh, brown iron oxide. And also... Uh, PBK6, it's a uh, lamp black. And um, it doesn't feel very different, um, or better said, it feels like um, the same when, while painting. But when I look at the colors, I think the old version has a little bit uh, of a warmer hue than uh, the new version. But like I said, it's only a minor um Different uh, difference between between the two versions, and uh, at this point, I I realized uh, I am missing uh, missing a spot for the blacks, and um, <laughs> I I was searching for my washi tape so I could divide uh, the the um, empty empty box into two parts so that I can also do a swatch of the two uh, versions of black. Um, it is made from PBK6, so lamp black. And we have here also the a little bit confusing um, four of five stars because um, I on, al also know this as a normal, as a um, best light fastness rating and if you ever wondered why it's called lamp black so where does the word lamp come into this mixture <laughs> uh, it is the reason that um, in the past they used the the black um, dirt coming from um, from the um, oil uh, lanterns they have a, a, a black uh, residue while um, the lantern burns. And I'm sorry, I can't explain it that good in English because I'm missing the <laughs> essential um, word at the moment. And um, yeah, it was originally made from, from that one. That's the reason um, <clears throat> where, where the word lamp came from. And here also, like, um, I would say the best comparison is um, uh, we, uh, with the permanent green. We have here a much more transparent version 
um, with the old version and a slightly more opaque version um, with the newer one and as well um, the old version gets much much darker it's more like a very deep black while the newer version is more like a super dark gray even it's still still uh, 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 more dark grayish um, when I put a second layer of, of color on it. You will see that um, um, better when I um, show you a close up from the dried, um, dried colors. So yeah, here we have um, all the colors from from the uh, 12 pen set. Um, Schminke Academy are available in 24 different colors. So it is not a super big range, but I think it's um, it's um, enough as, uh, for trying out watercolors or working with a limited palette. You, pr when you are honest, you you would you won't need. Um, uh, sets with I don't know 48 or uh, even more colors. Um, of course, it is convenient, and I also like to uh, use convenient mix mixes. But you, when you are honest, you don't really need it. So I think that's uh, more than enough um, to choose from. I know um, that the Academy uh, range is outside from Germany, not that easily um, to get, and also it's. Uh, very expensive when uh, you compare it with other brands like uh, Kotman or uh, Van Gogh um, watercolors. Um, I can only recommend, um, I don't know how much you get that good offers um, outside from Germany, but here in Germany they are often uh, on sale for a very, very good price and I bought the newer ones um, with a 50% uh, um, discount and another set with a 70% discount. So they were really cheap and I think you will get um, at least some sales uh, on that as well uh, outside of Germany. I know they are available in uh, the US, for example. I don't know if you get, can get them everywhere, but um, there are of course some um, some parts of the world where you probably won't get them or just get them with um, with a lot of effort and a lot of money and um, of course then I would say choose choose another brand um, which you can access more easily and also um, cheaper but uh, as far as the quality goes um, for me personally and I've tried really a lot of uh, different brands Schminke Academy is still my, in my opinion, um, the best uh, student grade um, paints I ever tried. Still, um, when I um, look at the new colors, uh, with the exception of uh, of those uh, three um, that are very different from from the old version, um, I st still think they are awesome, awesome colors, and I. Can say you won't definitely uh, you definitely won't do anything bad when you are working with uh, with them. That's a very good choice to make. But like I said, you will have to look how easily you can um, get them at your place. And um, if they are that much um, pricier than other brands, then I, I would choose, uh, of course, a brand which is not that expensive. I, I'm not quite sure why, but a uh, funny thing is in Asia, you can get the Academy brand uh, very easily and you also can get every color in a tube, which is very funny because in Germany, you can uh, not buy the Academy ones in tubes normally. So um, I don't know why, but the, the, uh, uh, the Asia market is uh, very big for the Academy. They also have um, super granulating uh, um, watercolors in the Academy range um, produced, I think, uh, in China. And the funny thing is you can't buy them in Germany o only about um, platforms like um, AliExpress. Um, I can get them here because they are produced in Asia only for the Asian market. 
which is, like I said, funny because it's a German German company and they can't get uh, those colors <laughs> in Germany. Except, like I said, for AliExpress. So yeah, I would say in 70%, um, the, the new and the old versions are the same. Um, we have the completely different pigment here in the carmine and we have um, slightly um, lesser quality uh, or pigment load um, in the newer versions of the permanent green and the black. And I would say the rest of the colors are nearly, nearly identical. I didn't feel, feel any um, problems or difference um, between, between those uh, two versions. And in the other colors. So yeah, <laughs> that was something I was very curious about. Um, how would uh, compare my old colors um, against the new one? And I can only say when you have good quality paints, good quality student or artist grade paints, you see, um, even if they are very, very old, you can easily use them. They did revet very easily. Um, they work perfectly fine. Um, they can't get bad, um, except uh, when you are living somewhere in the world where you have very hot and um, temperatures and very um, uh, um, a very high uh, humidity. Then, of course, um, with all watercolors, you are risking that they can get moldy there. But um, nevertheless, um, like I said, they are nearly 30 years old. They work perfectly fine. I've seen people color with uh, watercolor sets uh, which are over 100 years old so when you have good quality paints you can work with them for a very long time without any problems so i will show you here the close-up and uh, <clears throat> like i said take a look at the carmine here and then the carmine in the upper row you can definitely see that it's a complete different color that it's complete um, different uh, difference in um, a higher difference in the darkness of the color and also look look closer here at the permanent green how dark it is and then take a look at the new version it's not that much of a difference than the the um, carmine but you definitely can see a difference uh, here and then we I will show a close up from from the black uh, in in the end as well so that you can see the difference here as well. I don't know how good you can see the minor um, difference in the shade of the sepia for example but uh, you can definitely see the difference in the black here very easily. So yeah I would say except with the exception of this three colors um, the colors are are the same as as I know them from my childhood. And um, while while doing um, the swatches for this video, I thought, hmm, I wanted to compare um, the Schminke uh, Horadam versions of the colors with the Academy ones, and maybe also do um, a comparison between the old and the new versions. That would be, I think, very interesting. I will definitely make a video about that. And you can see here on my swatch card, uh, which I uh, keep in my tin, that um, the carmine and the permanent cream are very, very different as well. So yeah, I hope you found um, this video interesting and maybe also a little bit helpful. Thank you uh, very much for watching. If you don't want to um, miss uh, other videos like that, um, then please uh, subscribe to the channel. I would be uh, very thankful for that as well. Um, I'm always uh, thankful for a thumbs up and I Hope you have a wonderful day and um, yeah, hopefully see you in another video in the future. Bye.